We went there, Danny D coming here, we're in the gym, we got Coach Trevor here, and we're going to discuss some very um, pioneering stuff with bodybuilding. So, everybody's taking their HGH and their steroids and everything, but there's another piece of the puzzle that I think is being overlooked. So, the stem cells, guys. The stem cells are like a rev meter, okay, right along with your, your uh, myostatin to, you know, determine how much uh, muscle or DNA you can actually split and get more complete, like how much more muscle fiber you can get. Basically, your growth hormone works much better if you have a great stem cell response. So, I'm going to let the bodybuilding expert, the non experts of all experts, take this away and break down a little bit better than I probably could be. <laughs> so, okay, we'll, we'll keep things easy here. This is something I've been talking with, and if you've been following the EA videos, um, it was something I was really big into. At the time, um, it was very hard to do because there was no clinics in the States that you could really do this and have open access to. And so it either costs a lot of money or it's hard to do. But now having an open access, it brings it right back to the table, open access to a clinic. And um, so just to know there's two forms of muscle growth, really. To keep it simple. You have hypertrophy, which is the return of muscle cell size, meaning it gets bigger and bigger. But again, like an oak tree, a tree, even if it grows for thousands of years, it can only grow so big. That's just nature. Nature has its own okay. rhythm. So a cell can only grow so big and it slows down over time. The other, the other ways a muscle grows is either uh, hyperplasia or cell division. So you can split a cell into two cells. You can create brand new muscle tissue from just your DNA, which is basically the satellite cells or stem cells, right? So if you keep this in mind, you have two ways of building muscle. We have steroids in our arsenals. I got a good price on them thing that's if you really want Steroid, we can only mature a cell size so big and we've seen how far we can push that and then growth hormone and insulin things come into the scene and you start seeing bodybuilders get even bigger than that. Well, it comes back down to genetics. It always comes back down to genetics. So you can get to a certain size, but keep in mind, if you look how growth hormone, insulin like growth factor, mechanical growth factor, how these things are working is they're creating new muscle tissue cells in response to inflammation and damage, right? And then steroids help this process increase protein synthesis. But you only have so much, where does that, keep it simple, where does that come from? Where are these cells coming from? It doesn't create out of thin air, right? It's like anything else, it's building blocks to a cell and you need all those nutrients and you need all the signalers for this. Stem cells is basically a blank cell that in your body, depending on the stress or environment, your body will write a transcription and tell the cell you're going to be this or you're going to do this. So the idea is when you cause inflammation, stem cells go to any part of your body of inflammation. Now, say you broke yourself down in the gym, caused micro tears, you're on hormones, you're on anabolics, you're increasing protein synthesis, your, your diet is very well, you have a high amount of uh, amino acid content in your blood all the time. When this happens, you're in a state of repair, anabolism. So you're anabolic, now you have these inflammation markers and you take these stem cells. One of your main, your body's main focuses is get rid of that, in, that inflammation response is telling it to heal. So it's gonna heal that. I just went but we'll finish. So stem cells is what it's going to tell in order to repair this and create the new cells given that you're taking the growth hormone or you have IGF or MGF. It will create cells, it will divide cells, but the end game is the DNA is your stem cells. Without that, you can't do it. You only have so many cells in your body. That's why growth hormone works to a certain point. And then you start to see the effects stop. When it comes to size, you start seeing more side effects than growth because you don't have enough of those cells going to other parts of your body. When you need the things you need to succeed, get a hold of the original, Danny the Dream Body Savage, Regenimex.com. Proper stem cell treatments, real growth hormone programs, and all the rest. Regenimex.com. Adios.